Well, greetings and happy birthday from Cardiff by the Sea, California. Uh, sorry I couldn't join you for this big celebration, but it is August, and in August, uh, we're in California. So let's talk a little bit about growing up having Ed Hammerman as my big brother. Uh, Ed had a, had a difficult life to begin with. Early on, uh, he found himself uh, suffering from severe asthma. Um, our mom had to take him all the way to Arizona just to go to school to get him out of uh, the Ohio climate so he could recover from asthma. And to compound things, he had, a sis had our sister, Mimsy, and Mimsy, as always, has demanded all the attention in the family, so it was tough for him. But then in 1949, I came along, and brightness and cheer and joy was brought to Ed. And just having me around made his life that much happier, and it always has. So I'm thinking, uh, most most kids, when they have a big brother, the big brother takes him out. He's going to play baseball, teach him how to throw a ball, how to how to uh, play basketball, how to play football. But the thing about Ed, Ed didn't teach me any of those things because he can't throw a ball, he can't play basketball, he can't play football. So he taught me what he knew about. And at about eight years old, maybe seven years old, we shared a bedroom together, and he said. He said, Stan, I want you to see what I got here. And what was it? It was naked playing cards of women. And I had, this was just totally bizarre to me. I didn't know what he was showing me. But that's the first first thing that he showed me. Then, as we got a little bit older, uh, I don't know why, but our parents let me take a bus to Columbus, so, to Ohio State. And because Ed was going to take me to go see the Ohio State Buckeyes, a great basketball team play. He did do that. But he didn't, I didn't know he was going to have to sleep on a couch while he slept with his girlfriend. That's my big brother. So uh, just thinking a, a couple other things about Ed. Uh, when Ed was in college, uh, he had excuses for why he maybe didn't do as well as he should have. He had, came up with the phrase, the tests were out. I never heard that when I was in school. But he said the tests were out, and this is why he couldn't do as well. That was his excuse. But uh, you know how Ed is. Ed, Ed then got married to Dory and uh, had two wonderful kids. Well, sort of wonderful kids, Joel and Debbie. And uh, just uh, uh, lived a very nice life in Evanston. Uh, Ed had a goal, though. Before he was 30 years old, he wanted to make 30000 a year. It was called 30 by 30. And I think that uh, now that he's turning 75, he has reached 30. So mazel tov to you on achieving that goal finally. Ed, we're really glad to see that you've done that. Ed, uh, people said, have asked me, said, has Ed changed much in, in over the years? And I said, you know, after all, he, he's dealt with a lot of challenges and adversity and prosperity and all different kinds of things. Has he changed? Uh, no, no, he hasn't changed at all. I remember, um, and I, it was a Shabbat dinner many years ago, and Ed, Ed came in, and uh, uh, my, our cousin David was there, and we had this Shabbat dinner, and Ed, Ed came in, and he was very excited to see myself and David. He says, i got to show you this. I said, well, what's so exciting? So he pulls David and myself into the bedroom, and he shows us a penthouse magazine, the first penthouse. He was so excited about having that. So... Has he changed? No, he has not. Uh, he has dealt with uh, adversity, and, uh, you know, he, he, he's tough. That, that is tough, and, and, and we're, we're very glad to have him, uh, very glad to have him in Arizona. Believe it or not, we are glad, because what makes us so glad about us, him having a, a place in Arizona is he no longer has to stay with us. So we're very happy about that, I can tell you. Um, I, Ed met Arlene. Arlene has been terrific with Ed. Uh, Ed also recognized something else when he got married again. He recognized that I was the best man again because I am the best man, and we really appreciate uh, Ed's uh, Ed seeing the truth in that. Uh, other than that, you know, uh, we want you to beat this this uh, disease, and I'm sure that you will. We have confidence. You are Mr. Bounce Back, and uh, we say happy birthday. We love you, big brother.